Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we're going to be doing another £2 coin hunt. We're going to be going through our £500 in £2 coins to fill up the last couple of slots in our £2 album. But before we get to the album, just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Uh, you can also check out my Patreon and Teespring pages. The links will be in the description just down below. So, <clears throat> this bag is going to be my first £2 bag out of my new, the new bank that I'm using. So, hopefully, there'll be some good finds. And in the album itself, we are missing Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland and Scotland. And the Mary Rose. Other than that, we have got everything else. Obviously, it'd be nice to find sort of a couple more comedies as we do know that they're back in circulation now or more have been added to circulation should I say uh, so yeah fingers crossed we'll get something good so let's get the bag cracked open and see what we can find so what we'll do is we'll do the first bag in real time as we normally do So the first coin we've got is technologies. So with the technologies, we don't really look to sort of keep any of them. Uh, the only ones I really keep are sort of any fakes or sort of obvious errors. Uh, just because they're so common, uh, there's not really a particular year that's sort of worth looking out for. But other than that, we'll look to keep everything else, including that. So that is the anniversary of the Golden Guinea. That is one that is above face value. So a nice find there. Definitely nice to get in our first bag as well. And I think that's going to be it for the first bag. So what we'll do now is we'll speed up until we get to something interesting. And we do have a fake. So you'll see there, obviously the strike on it just doesn't look right. The hologram in the middle is completely visible. But if we rotate it, the queen is lying on her back. So another fake to add to the collection. And you'll see there, the side strike is absolutely appalling. <laughs> and even the IRB, so just there, is really, really bad quality. So, our first fake for the hunt. And I think, actually, even the outer ring is the wrong size on that. But, yep. And there we go. There is our second commemorative for the hunt. So I thought we were going to end up with just the one. But... We have a Charles Darwin, or Man and the Animal. So yeah, 
no, but a nice one, even though it is a common one. And there we go, we've got an abolition of the slave trade. So with this one, there are two different versions to look out for. You've got this one with the textured finish, and you've also got one with a smooth finish and a little mint mark. The smooth finish coin was only intended for the mint packs, so if you do find that, definitely keep hold of it, because it is not a common one to find in circulation. And there we go, we've got another abolition of the slave trade. And a Florence Nightingale. So another common one, not one of my favorite two pounds, I have to add, but it's a bit slim pickings today, so it's nice to find something different. And there we go, got a army centenary. So this one's quite common. It's the navy one that you want to look out for because that's the one that's the lower minted and is also above face value. And we've got a Trinity house. So nice design. But it is another common one. And there we go, we've got a Brunel's portrait. So part of a two coin set, you've got this one and you've got Brunel's achievements which have the arches at Paddington Station on. And there we go, we've got another army centenary. And there we go, there is an absolutely stonking find. So that is the London Underground Train. It's a coin that took me absolutely ages to find, but since finding it, I have found quite a few. But it is one of my favorite ones as well. I do like the London Underground set. So with this one, if you actually look around the edge, you will see essentially the dots for a tube map. So, really, really like that coin. Really chuffed to find that actually.
And there we go, we've got a Charles Dickens. So a bit grubby, but nice find nonetheless. And we've got a steam locomotive. Once again, not one that we, it's a common one, but not one that we see too, too often. It's not a guarantee in every hunt to get one of them. And there we go, there's another steam locomotive. And yet another steam locomotive. So I say we don't find them too often, and then we get free in one hunt. <laughs> wow! That is in absolutely amazing condition. That looks like it's come straight out of a pack. Wow. Well, I am definitely gonna be swapping the one in my album out for this one. That is in absolutely stunning condition. That is the Act of Union. That has come out of a pack, I am 100% sure. Wow, <laughs> first time I've had one like that. And there we go, we've got another Brunel's portrait. And there we go, there's the other coin in the Brunel set. So that is Brunel's achievements, and obviously it's the arches at Paddington Station. And there we go, another Trinity House. And we've got our first Guy Fawkes for the hunt. So obviously, I know I said it time and time again, with the Guy Fawkes, there is actually an error on the side of the coin, uh, where it will say, Promember, Promember, instead of Remember. Um, even though it is an error, it is so common that you shouldn't pay any more than face value for the coin. So, that's just one thing to be aware of. Has this one got it? Yep. So, you see just there, so it looks like a P instead of an R. And all that is is just sort of the striking on the side. It sort of falls in with the grooves.
And there we go, we've got another Charles Dickens. Another Charles Darwin and another Charles Dickens as well. So the two Charles in one go. And with that, we are on to the last bag. So I am pretty impressed with the coins that we've got from the new bank obviously that act of union is absolutely amazing there we go we've got another army centenary so yeah really really chuffed that looking forward to doing the next bag and there we go right at the end we have a ve day so pretty much a staple of every hunt and it's got in there right at the last minute very nice. So, that is going to be the end of today's hunt. Star pool, can't really pick anything else but the Act of Union. Absolutely stunning. Cannot get over that. That has definitely come out of a pack. And I am more than chuffed to have found it. So yeah, that will be going straight into my album. I'm going to swap that over with the one that's in there. So yeah, that is going to be the end of today's hunt. As I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description below. And also below, I will have links to my Patreon and Teesprings pages. Um, but yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Alright, bye.